Hey YouTube, how's it going? Uh, so in this video, I'll be showing you how you can uh, convert your shape files into a web map like this. So here I have used a shape file, and if you have TPMS file, then also fine. Uh, there will be multiple files, then you will be getting in your KML layers. So when you have a shape file or DB file, you will be uh, able to get a map like this web map uh, by using the QGIS uh, desktop software. So let me show you how we can go ahead and start with that. First of all, I have installed this QGIS software from um, here in Google. We'll just need to go to Google and type QGIS software and you will be able to download a uh, windows or mac version from here so once you download and install uh, the software the software here uh, you'll have to run this and you'll have to open the software from here you can just go to new and you will have to add your own shape files or dpf files so let me show you how you can add your shape files so I do have all my files here like dba files, dot shape file, everything. So I'll just use the dot shape file here to add my uh, layers and data. Once you add your layer, so you will be getting all your shape file data into this. So when you click on this, when you zoom in, let me show you. Here we can set uh, the labels show labels option over here all right so once we uh, select on show labels all the shape uh, file and layer data will be showing up and then so once you've done that you'll just need to go ahead here and to plugins and you can add and install a new plugin in order to convert your shape file um, this project to a web map so you will be finding a new plugin in the, uh, google when you go to qgis to web plugin so you will find this free plugin on google you can just download it and install that plugin over your qgis software so once you download and uh, install this uh, i i have already downloaded this plugin and uh, you'll just need to go ahead and manage and install the plugin and you can just install the plugin from here if uh, you need qgis already installed this plugin uh, if you have not installed this plugin you will see an install option over here all right so i've already installed this now i'll just go ahead and again i'll go to the now i'll go ahead to the xyz tiles option over here and i'll click on right click on this a new connection and in order to load the google maps in the background i'll write as google map over here and then i will giving you this link in uh, um, i'm giving you this link in description or uh, you'll just need to paste this link in url field and then you can set the minimum and maximum zoom level as per your requirement so once you have done that you can just um set the resolution as per your requirement then you'll just need to click on ok all right so now when you see here you can just click on this xyz tiles and you will see your own google map option that you have added just now so you can just double click on this or drag and drop it over here or whatever you ask for your requirement. So I'll just double click on this. When you double click, you will be able to say this particular thing in the your project timeline and your layers went back side. So you can drag and drop your layers onto the top. Now here as you can see your layers have came up and you can just zoom in as per as your requirement as much as you can and you will be able to see the Google map in your QGIS software. 
yeah so that's how how we can uh, integrate or implement the google map inside our qgis software and i hope that things are clear if something is not clear please feel free to write back to us and in order to import and export uh, sorry in order to export this QGIS project to a web you'll have to install uh, this QGIS to web software as I said so once you install the QGIS to web plugin you will be seeing this option and then you'll just need to go to create a web map so once you click on create a web map you will be seeing all these options and you can select the options as per your requirement so here i'll select uh, i'll keep all the default options and then i'll just go ahead and export i will uh, set something in appearance All right, so minimum zoom level I will keep it to three, and then that's it. Yeah, that's it. So I'll just click on export now. My file will get exported, and once it gets ex exported, it will definitely uh, open the project automatically in the web. So as you can see here, it has completed the yeah. So as you can see here, we are here with our web map which we have converted using a QGIS software with shape files. In the same way, you can use any other file types like DBF files or any other files which you have the data in. Uh, you can just use those files and convert them to the web files. I hope that things are clear. If something is not clear, please feel free to write back to us. We will be happy to assist you. And I am giving you. So yeah, that's it. I hope the things are clear. If if something is not clear, please feel free to write back to us. We will be happy to assist you. Take care. Bye bye. And don't forget to sub. And don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Bye bye.